Shadow right here, and today I am doing a another blue catch weapon closet. Yay! Very excited. Um, finally getting back to this. I probably forgot some uh, essentials inside the formula of the uh, blue weapon dis uh, discussion closet, such as. But to bring the back the um, nostalgic feel to it, I'm going to use the PC uh, Facebook version to present this since I they did say that they did, they did recently make it faster and I do believe them because if you shoot an artillery cannon in the original version normally it would, wouldn't be going this fast but considering that it is it's a good thing okay so yeah listen uh, I just want to do just a little bit of some tweaking to the uh, recording so hopefully blue cat as you can see those little demonstrations running a little bit smoother than what it just had before. That was on, uh, I think, like, record every 8 frames, I think. Well, now I have it on record every 10 frames. So, it seems a little bit better. And they, they were really right about when they said they made it faster. It's really going at a decent pace. Even when, I'll, even when recording, it's going at a decent pace. So, this is a good sign. But anyways, enough stalling. Time to finally get on to the real deal and begin the weapons closet. Today, in Blue Cat's Weapon Closet, episode 11, I think, <laughs> um, we are going to do the M1 carbine, well, I think it's the carbine, I think so, yeah, and the artillery cannon. So, I'm glad to get this started. So, let's first begin with the M1. The M1 is a rifle. It is known for being able to do most little... <coughs> tricky little knickknacks, such as being able to shoot the doors, do certain areas inside bases, yada 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 yada, etc, etc, etc. Uh, I might show a, a few examples of what I mean, but before I do that, let's first get the details out of the way first. So, normal damage. Its normal damage is 8. It deals 9 on perfect, and it deals 6 when it's completely rusty. The fire type. It appears to be... Oh, I forgot what fire type's supposed to be. <coughs> <coughs> I do believe it's semi-automatic, so you do have to tap, or if you're using Facebook, click your mouse and not hold it. You have to just tap it over and over again and click it. So it is not automatic. So you do not you do not hold the fire button. Uh, clip size, as we just saw, it had a clip size of eight. That's not bad. Um, clip size, okay, fire. Bullets per shot is one. It only shoots one bullet per shot. Oh. Don't expect it to shoot three, because that's unrealistic. Especially if we're going to like this. Accuracy. I have noticed that it does have a pretty high accuracy rate. Uh. Hmm. Let's, let's take one more good look at it. I will say it has a, a good accuracy. Probably good. Or well, average, maybe. Maybe moderate, I would say, actually. Moderate. Ugh, I'm so new to doing this now. I haven't done it in such a long time. I have to go to my YouTube page and see how... What was the last time I recorded one? I think it was like... Three months ago? Even longer than that. But, okay, that was accuracy. Accuracy is, appears to be kind of moderate. It has a little spread of the bullet. Sometimes the spread goes out of control, but... Not all the time. Uh, freeze rate. Freeze rate is... Pretty low. Yeah, it has a pretty low freeze rate, so if you shoot, you can probably avoid a bullet. So I guess, yeah, f shooting is really too bad. Not too bad of a problem. The fire rate? It's it's a fast fire rate. Yeah, I'll say the fire rate's fast. Yeah, even when clicking, the fire rate's pretty fast. <laughs> But the one thing, whoops, <laughs> accidentally right clicked. <laughs> but the one thing that most certainly brings down this gun is its reload speed. Watch this. That's how long the reload was. That was at least about a second, maybe? Maybe. Close to a second. But you see, that's probably the biggest flaws about this gun. In, or in order to uh, kind of escape from doing that, you can always just shoot down till you're down to one bullet or two bullets and then switch your gun and then just switch back 
trust me, it's a lot more faster than just having to stand there for like a second. Because trust me, when it comes to wheeling, a second of vulnerability is horrible. It's not good. Same thing with the M3. The M3 is almost like, you shoot once, and that's pretty much like your chance. If you miss, you're going to take damage. Maybe, if you're lucky. Or you quickly evade the bullet. Likeliness? Pretty low. But if you do, that's a good thing, I suppose. You have the upper advantage, I guess. Its price, I believe, it's 7,000 grads. So, not bad of a price. So, I mean, again, it does have its positives. It does have a couple of things that can make up for it. For example, if you shoot up, you see how long the barrel is? It can go through doors. Uh, there's that bench, or uh, that table that crosses across Mafia. You can shoot across there. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Ah, yes, there's a couple of places in E-Mines you can shoot. There's a post inside PZ you can shoot through with this. Anything else? I'm missing a lot. <laughs> There's a couple of tables you can shoot through all throughout the bases. And that's pretty much it. And Tachi has this little significance. It's kind of hard to do. It's not really recommended. It's more better if you have an artillery cannon. But you know that couch that's inside the Tachi flag room? It's sort of like it's literally like below the flag room. You can kind of sit there and just look over the flag room from there. Well, yeah, if someone's standing right up against the wall and, uh, you use the M1, then you can probably actually hit them from just from doing that. Uh, what do we got here? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Hmm. <coughs> okay, so yeah. Um... Uh, I'll probably show what type of significance I mean by um, being able to shoot the walls and stuff. You, I mean doors. You, you, you'll see in just a couple seconds. Clash of Clans. Your troop is ready to battle. Thank you, iPad. But um, now it's time for the overall standings, I guess. PK definitely not recommended. But that reload speed definitely not. Spar <laughs> again definitely not. The, the one thing that, that kills this gun is definitely the reload. The clip size is kind of another thing, but clip size is kind of manageable. But that reload speed is just awful. Base? Yes, because remember, you can shoot through doors. There's some tables you can shoot through. So just try experimenting the M1. Try to see what you can shoot, what you can shoot through. And streak. Not recommended. <laughs> Again, streak is more like you might want to use a shotgun or any gun that shoots more than one bullet or has stacked damage. And that's what that's a gun you want to use, a streak. Um, that's a gun you would want to streak with. Not a single bullet M1 with this horrible reload. So yeah, the only, only thing I'll say is just, this is just PK recommended. Nothing else. Well, not PK, uh, base recommended. Nothing else, pretty much. Also, it comes with a little bayonet. Uh, it's not playing the sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, there's a little bayonet. The bayonet deals eight damage. It's pretty fast. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the chainsaw. <laughs> but anyways, enough of with this hideous gun. Just kidding. I actually like this gun. It's a good basing weapon. But now on for the next weapon, which is capital S, the artillery cannon. Now. The artillery cannon is a unique weapon, probably one of the few weapons in the game, that can actually shoot explosives. There are certain other guns that can also shoot explosives, um, e.g., otherwise known as an example, the candy bazooka, which is another weapon that can shoot explosives, despite how silly it looks. However, this one's, I think, this artillery cannon is a little bit more recommended. Reason? I don't know why, they're both kind of the same. A little, a little, there's a little bit of some differences, a little bit of some similarities. But overall, the artillery cannon is still kind of recommended. But, enough of that. And on to the normal damage. As far as I remember, or as far as I've seen so far, um, the artillery cannon deals 8 damage on normal, and 9 damage on perfect, and 6 damage on minimum. As far as I remember, I could have sworn it was the maximum was 8 before. I could have sworn. I, I don't know. Uh, fire type. It is a 
semi-automatic, which means you have to click or tap to fire and not hold it. And it is also an explosive. So the explosion radius can hit someone, and you don't have to be exactly like in front of them just to hit them. You can actually just hit a wall, and the explosion radius will do the, the rest of the work for you. And clip size, 16. The same clip size as an average M4, or a Famous, or any form of assault rifle. Oh, I love being able to shoot the artillery cannon without the Facebook ever la uh, lagging, or air server crashing as such. Uh, bullets per shot, or in this case, shells. Uh, it only shoots one shell. One shell, but it does quite the, quite the explosion. You know, I do not want to lock my door. Unless I'm hiding my kids. Do you have kids, Blue Cat? Yeah. Of course you do. Okay, so, bullets per shot, 16. Well, clip size is 16, bullets per shot is 1. The accuracy. The accuracy is pretty straight. It's a pretty decent accuracy. Which is a l kind of a drawback, but if you're good at timing and being able to hit the enemy, even with a high accuracy gun, you're, you, this gun, the spread's okay, so you should still match a hit zone, even with, the, even with this kind of accuracy. So, I would say it's good accuracy. It, the shells really don't go out of control that much. Uh, freeze rate. It's definitely not a very low freeze rate. It could be a mix of low or moderate. I would say it's low. It's a low freeze rate, but it's not as low as an M4 or such. But it, it makes do. It, it really does. It's, it's a good weapon. <laughs> Fire rate. Alright, so I'm coming shooting as fast as I can. This is kind of like a moderate pace. I would say the attack speed's moderate. Let me, let me try holding the space bar. Yeah, this is definitely like a moderate attack speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's next? Reload speed. Let's check this out. And reload. The reload's kind of long, actually. It's not as bad as the M1, of course, but the reload's pretty long. It's, um... Hmm. Let's say... I'd say it's a moderate reload. Unlike the M1, which is long. Yeah, it's a moderate. Moderate reload speed. And the price is 27 event coins. No, it's not Grailots, it's event coins. You need 27 of these to in order to unlock this. So, now, again, time for its final overall ranking. PK recommended. Yes, the explosion rays can kill several people, as well as anybody who's camping behind walls or such, like cowards. A spar? You can, use, you can definitely use this gun for spar, however, people will probably hate you for doing that. Trust me, spars are very competitive. You don't want to use an artillery cannon in size bar. No, they will, they will literally spam your messages. Unhappy ones. Base recommended, most certainly. You can use this to stop crowds of people. What else? Uh, keep stalling the doors. You can shoot the walls. Some walls, just a few. Uh, you can break doors from a distance. <coughs> You can even get the splash damage onto some people, which is good. And streak recommended. Uh, nah, I wouldn't recommend this for streak. The accuracy is a little bit too high. The wheels is a little bit too long. And well, again, it's a single. F although yes, it is a single firing gun. Still not something I would use for streak. So yeah, that's it. That's finally a, a new blue cat weapon closet with the M1 and the artillery cannon. But before I forget, foolishly, I am going to go ahead and present some locations in which the artillery cannon can be fired from. And that fountain took quite a while to show up. Let's go. Back to the outside world. Right, so see this table? You can actually shoot through here. That's the one little spot. This table you can shoot through. 
Other one. Here's another location. Right, let me just reload real quick. <laughs> Don't disturb me, I'm recording. Uh, you can shoot through right here. And through boxes. That's that's a neat that's a neat little advantage you can do. And there's also there's one more sp one little spot right here where you can shoot through. Although it's really kind of useless because it pretty much hits the wall every time. Jesus Christ! What's with the sound effect? Right, I'm really rusty at playing with this, so forgive me. But, why don't we go ahead and... Oh, it's Lago. Hello. Lago's a cool guy, by the way. <laughs> Alright, I'm tired of seeing those messages. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes I am. Yes I am, actually. Yes. <laughs> Hiya! Hiya, I'm a kitten. Right, so let's go to BBZ, because BBZ is probably the best place to present the whole wall shooting thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, let's just wait till this wall gets repaired. Okay, here we go. Here's what I mean by shoot through walls. This is really neat. It, It's especially good for stopping spammers. And yeah, Tula Ken is also good for breaking doors as well. And again, from a distance. Alright, so, any other little neat tricks? <sighs> hmm. Oh man, I'm, I'm really happy to go back to playing with this. <laughs> Honk. Alright, so in here, we have a couple of areas in which you could actually shoot through. Uh, once again, there's another door you can shoot through. This couch right here, if someone stands right here. Here we go. And whoa, I'm lagging. Alright, if someone stands right here, I, you can, your bullet can actually hit them, but they have to be standing like right up against the wall. So, uh, if. Uh, and I also see that the bullets still come up blue. I guess that's kind of weird. Now I remind myself to get rid of the blood. I mean, remember before the blood used to come up yellow, actually. <laughs> oh my god, I'm lagging. I thought they said it made it faster. <laughs> Night, but. I still don't see. Don't, I still don't see anyone up there, so that's kind of a shame. But yeah, if someone was standing literally like right up against the wall, then you could probably hit them. Well, you can hit them. <laughs> Not probably. Hmm? Indeed, I bought them for fifty cents. <laughs> uh, there's not really. Eh, eh, eh. There's not really too many places you, the M1 Gunard can actually work inside the uh, Terry Sue base. Yeah, surprisingly, not not too many actually. Yes, I'm recording. Okay, so uh, I wish to present a strategy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. But this time, let's just go and running gun. That's basically, uh, if I don't get the chance to actually show it, uh, I'll probably just describe you what you can do. So, quickly, before, uh, let's just go into here. So, right here, you see this wall? This one right there? Yeah, your M1 can actually shoot through that. That's first off. Second off, um, if the wall's broken, the M1 Gunnard can actually shoot through there. And third off, the artillery cannon can also shoot through there. 
It won't shoot the explosive shell, however. The explosion will already occur, but you can still shoot the shell. And if anyone who actually touches it, not won't be affected by explosion, but will just be expected by the actual image of the bullet hitting them, or shell, or yada 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 yada. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's really that's really it that you can also do in here. So yeah, obviously the artillery cannon can break through here, and there we go. Shooting through there, and so can this. And also, if you do it just right, and I mean literally just right, you can stand right here and shoot the M1 grenade through here. It's very, it's very hard to do though. This, this thing is just so sensitive. It's kind of hard to do it if you're not inside the actual gang of the, the holding base, which in this case is natural one killers. But pretty difficult thing to do. Unfortunately, the M1 grenade—it kind of looks like it can, but it it can't shoot through this here wall. Unfortunately, there's only one gun as of, as of I am right now that can actually shoot through that wall. But even so, even so, I'm not going to mention it because of the fact that he can probably get patched if I mention that. But ask around, you know, maybe you'll find out. But it it can also be shot through this hedge right here. And trust me, with the M1, that's only just a couple of the places where it can actually work out well. Like I already showed you the doors, the the terrace walls. Uh, gate, I mean. Are you gonna break this wall? Okay, whatever. Eh. Alright, so anything else? Uh, I would go all the way down the pirate zone, but that's too far of a journey for me, so I'm not. And e mines? E mines have quite a couple of places. However, again, that's too far of a journey for me. So, how about actually I cut the video? And now I'll just meet you guys over there. Alright. Sounds like a good deal. <sighs> okay, finally here at Southridge. I nearly died getting here. I nearly drowned too, but before I actually go on, I just want to see you guys. Just show you guys something. Look how fast this thing goes. Yeah. I love doing this. <laughs> I just love oh That's gonna be mine, mate. No! Uh huh. PC version beats all. Oh, hello, Psycho. <laughs> Alright, so. Presenting some areas where you can shoot the M1 through. So, I think this table right here you can shoot through, but only upwards. You can't shoot downwards. Darn. Oh. Reload. Next room. Right here. Not like you really need to, but. <laughs> it's there. If you ever need to. This table. This table. I think this wall. No. Downwards? Nah, definitely not downwards. Uh this this wall right here. This wall right here. And this wall right here. A little more of us added secret. You can even shoot a PvB up here. Yeah, good stuff. Really good stuff. But uh and we have one more location where I can probably shoot through. I don't know who's holding the space, okay, so right here, you can shoot through. And that's it. And that's been. Oh wait, I want to show you guys one more thing. But first, I must heal, as I will die the next time I go in there. <laughs> All right, so let's equip a PVB, and I'm going to show you another thing you can do with that same table that I just shot through. There's also a couple more spots you can go through, but I, I have the f uh, fear that I might kill someone from cog, and then I'll get everyone hostile, and I have to run away, and I don't want to do that. So right here, very useful. And there we go. That's all. Maybe we can quickly show you. <laughs> I mean, I'm feeling a little bit adventurous. Maybe we can just quickly show you. Uh, oh man, I missed this menu. <laughs> okay, pretty rusty. Don't really care if it's rusty, actually. I'm gonna go into here. This time I'm gonna go into the right side, because they're probably expecting me from the left side. And you can also shoot. Okay, get ready, get ready, Blue Cat. <laughs> Deep breaths. <gasps> You can also shoot it right here. Yeah. You won't, unfortunately, you won't hit the flag. So y you could actually shoot the right down. So it's right here. And I don't think you can shoot down. I think you can shoot down once, actually. I don't remember. Can you shoot down? I think you can. Oh god, how about reloading? No! 
Yeah, you can't shoot down ones. Oh well. Let's do this. Alright, let's blow this popsicle stand. Oh yeah, you can also shoot through here. Again, just in case. Or here. Or here. Or here. And... I suppose PZ isn't really... Shut up, police car. But I suppose PZ isn't really exactly that far from here, so... Uh... Let's go walk. But first, after this little pause that I'm about to do, literally right now. Okay, soon. Now. Soon. Right, so, good old pirate zone, huh? Can you shoot it down here? Again, not like you really need to. Uh... Wow, look at... What the hell? Seriously? These cloud effects are just ridiculous now. You can shoot the right here. Uh, let's be... Let's aim carefully, though. I don't want to hit that candy guy. Aim through right here. It's a good spot. Uh... Then again, most guns can actually hit through that. And seriously, what the hell is with these clouds? This is just ridiculous. <laughs> Am I even lagging now? Oh, okay, good. Hello. Okay, goodbye. I'm recording, and I have to get something urgently done. How the hell you died? I don't know. But the cloud's covering your corpse. Uh, and finally, here's the last spot you can hit through. Let's aim carefully to make sure we don't hit anyone. Right here. Can you guys please move? Oi! I said please move! Jesus Christ, these clouds! <laughs> My goodness, you have to say fuck off just to make him stop? That's a bad sign. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I literally cannot see you through, the, through these clouds. Alright, so, right here, with the M1, you can actually hit through it, as well as throwing knives. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. And then I made a great escape. I'll carry this for you, actually. I got the bail of catnip. No, I tripped. Now it burned. Now I became roast fish. <laughs> Something you need? You can also shoot the here, probably. I knew it. <laughs> it's cool. I was just recording something, anyways. Excuse me, sir. Owie. My tail. My tail is bleeding! Dunna da dunna! No! I don't want to see any more conflicts! No! I don't want to see any conflicts! Alright, but uh Whoa. But uh But uh <laughs> Uh I think we'll just end the video up from here. Let's go stand on this nice little ladder here. As Grant Blue Cat will exercise himself by constantly climbing up a ladder over and over again. This is fun! Basing video. And yes, there's a new video. Two new videos, actually. And this is gonna be the third one. This is so fun! But anyways... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Exercising. Now, I am going to end the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Get that heart racing.